All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I've gotten a couple requests from people to just go over some very basic, basic things. So these are just two types of uh, mechanical thermostats that you'll find normally on refrigeration units and in walk-ins. Smaller units, you know, I'm not getting into big control systems, digital controls and all that right now. Plus, I don't have any. So <laughs> we'll just explain the mechanical ones. And I mean, all they are is a switch, guys. It's a mechanical switch that opens and closes. Very, very simple. And all this one, you know, if we can focus in here, this is just a rotary dial. You know, you turn, if you hear it click, once it clicks, that's off, that's on. So that means it's calling. There's a little lever in here that goes across to each leg and that feeds your power through to either your solenoid loop or your control loop or what have you. Um, this one here looks like a pressure control, so you gotta make sure that it's your temperature control. You see you have a different probe on it, but the Rancos all look the same, the fan cycle controls everything. You can see right now, this has two different adjustments. Your high event would be your temperature. You can see it's at like 40 right now. And your differential, which that's set at like three. So that means when the temperature in your box rises to 40 degrees, 41 or so, this is gonna come on. It's gonna go down to 37, 36 and shut off. And this is just a mechanical lever in here. Right now it's up because it's down at 40. It's about 60 degrees out right now. So it's calling. For cooling but as the temperature drops there's pressure in here in these springs so this lever will drop and it will shut off and open up your control and break your line and that's really all it is i mean they're very 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 simple things it's just a mechanical switch guys you just have to make sure that they are accurate these aren't known for being the most accurate things so you have to tweak them this one here in this style of control this little arrow right here that's your temperature differential you can see now if we're at like 50 well, that's 60 but anyway each line is two degrees so that's out like a five degree differential you know you can get your screwdriver in here this little thing here and you can open it up and adjust it if you see the arrow move you can see that that's your that would be a temperature differential but we usually leave them down on the first one it's about three degrees so i mean that's really it guys very simple thing you can mount them wherever you want you just got four or five foot probes on these you know to sense your temperature and really that's it man it's really all you got like i said you just got to remember they're a switch that's all so hope this could help some of you guys out at least with a couple of these basic ones i'll also show you this too guys real quick um you can do it the same way with the other one but this is how you can test these right now I'm set to read continuity on my meter. This is open right now. I got it up, you know, temperatures up at like 80 degrees. If I turn it down, you hear the beeping? That means this control is good and it's working. You know, you can test this with your meter lead just by testing voltage across. If this was closed and you had a lead here and a lead here, you'd be reading zero volts. If it's open, you will be reading you 120 volts so all, all you're doing is breaking one leg that's all it is so these things they can fail they can be stuck closed they never shut off they can be stuck open they never turn on you know it could go either way with these but that, that's that's really all you do is how to test a thermostat like that very very simple stuff always of course if you don't want power on make sure you shut your power off and take your wires off as well and you can also check it that way to be you know completely safe and also you can see here too guys this is just a little book that comes with the white white rogers control usually these do come with pamphlets but this is what you look like on a diagram that's what a temperature control looks like a drawing of it that's it you can just see it's a little lever that goes up and down to send power through when it's closed and when it's open it stops it goes to your solenoid valve that's what will open up your line to send your freon through that's all it is this has your low low pressure can low temperature limit on it which would be a low side control too as well it all depends how you got everything hooked up but it's all it is guys just a switch and a loop and you can see it's on l1 you're just breaking one leg you're not breaking both you're just breaking one in that loop yep so that's it boys um i know that it was very very basic very basic controls um 
you know, a lot of us will look at that and be like, you know, this is the simplest thing ever. Why are you even going over this, Chris? Well, I've got some requests from it. I get a lot of guys that watch my channel that are new or in school or anything. And, you know, you got to look back on it. And, like, when I started, I didn't know what, what a thermostat did or how it worked, you know. So you got to try to remember when you didn't know this stuff. So that's what I'm trying to do it to help some people out. Um, like I said, there's many different styles, many different kinds. We all know, but they all basically work off the same principle. You know, I didn't get into any digital ones or this and that. I don't have any on me. I need to be out on a job with a control panel or something like that, which is very, very hard to do when you're out in the field and working. So I'm sure you guys can understand that. But it's good to get a video back up for you guys. Hope you're all well. Appreciate all the support as usual. Um, I want to also say those probes on those, that temperature bulb, that's just attached to a cap tube. There's a type of gas in there. I forget what's in there. But as the temperature changes, the pressure changes, which we all know, right? So as the temperature gets warmer, the pressure gets higher. And it makes those controls open or close, whether the temperature, you know, lowers or warms up. So it's really all it is. That's how they work. And they run off pressure. I mean, those could be bad, too. Just if, you know, I've seen a lot of times customers have, you know, broken the um, temp probe off them. You know, they hit them with a box or a pallet or a shelving whatever and it just rips the thing off and if it loses its little charge in that cap tube in the probe um, the thermostat won't work either so that's another thing you'll see too but as always guys i appreciate it if you're new here um consider subscribing guys i noticed um when i get my analytics that um about 65 70 percent of you guys that watch aren't su subscribed so if you like what you're seeing consider subscribing and i'll catch you boys in the next one